Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I'm gonna to be talking about spoon feeding and giving you guys an update on my fall over seed right here behind me with my Mountain View seed. So let's get started. So if you're new to my channel and you've never watched a video before, this year I did a fall over seed with a Mountain View seed blend. It was a 90-10 a seed mix. It had 90% tall fescue and 10% Kentucky bluegrass. So the Mountain View seed that I got this year, I actually purchased from Tuckahoe Turf Farms. They are a sod farm right here in New Jersey where I am. Uh, they produce a lot of the game day sod for a lot of the uh, professional teams in the northeast of the United States. Uh, one of the teams in particular is uh, the Eagles. Uh, they pr pr produce the Bermuda grass they, they use at Lincoln Financial Field, and as well as the Kentucky bluegrass as well that they use at Lincoln Financial Field uh, later in the season. Um, I just wanted to choose something a little bit different this year. Um, like I said, Mountain View seed, it's a very high quality seed. It is blue tag certified. Um, and as you can see, the results right here behind me, I did start to mellow a little bit um, right here, but you can see, I mean, it came in really great. Um, it's thick, it's green, it's, it's a dark green. I can't believe it's such a dark green already. Um, but today, I'm gonna actually be starting a spoon feeding program um, in my yard. Um, my goal is to put down a half a pound of nitrogen uh, per week, and I'm trying to use up as much as, the, um, as much of the fertilizer that I have on hand right now through the remainder of the season. So the fertilizer that I'll be using for my spoon feeding is the Yard Mastery flagship. Um, that's just what I have on hand. I try to live by you use what you have and don't go out and buy stuff if you don't need to. Um, I have a five gallon bucket and I just really want to get rid of that fertilizer um, because there's a good chance I probably might not be using that fertilizer brand next year. Um, there's been some controversy about that flagship brand. Um, there's a new channel out there called Turf Truth. I'll leave it linked below. They did a whole video on the flagship itself um, and I don't really like some of the stuff that I'm seeing. So I'm possibly going to be looking to something a little bit an alternative for next year for my fertilizer program in my lawn. So like I was saying, um, I will be doing a spoon feeding. I'm looking to get down about a half a pound of nitrogen per week up to uh, probably like a week or two before Halloween. Um, that's typically when we see our first frost, especially where I'm located at in New Jersey. Um, so I'll be doing about a half a pound a week of the flagship. And if I run out of the flagship, I'll just switch over to whatever else I have left over. Um, I have some, I think I have some starter fertilizer left over. I might throw some of that out. Um, I'm just trying to use up what I have. And I just, I don't really want to go out to the store and buy anything or buy anything online if I have to. Um, is it the best fertilizer? It might not be. I've talked to a couple people on Instagram, um, some professional people, and it's probably not the greatest to use for a spoon feeding because of the pearl size, I've, I've been told. Um, but you know what? I really don't want to buy anything. Um, I try and live by use what you have And so that's what I'll be doing here using the yard mastery at a half a pound of nitrogen per week And just using it up until it's gone So what I'm gonna be doing here in a minute is just finishing up cutting my lawn typically during the growing season I like to cut my lawn at least twice a week uh, Usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday and then sometime on the weekend um, I just like to keep up with the mowing, trying to keep the lawn thick. Um, that's personally what I've been doing this past year. And especially in the springtime, it looked really great um, when I was cutting it twice a week. Um, so that's what I'll be doing after I get done finishing up this little segment right here. I'll be finishing mowing and then I'll be going to my spoon feeding. So I just got done mowing the lawn. And as you can see right here behind me, um, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Obviously any overseed I've said in the past could be better. Um, but this is what I'm dealt with. Um, so what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to show you guys how I calculated out the uh, 0.5 or the uh, half a pound of nitrogen per 1,000 for what I would need for my yard. It's a very simple calculation and I have an app here for you guys that you could use. I'm not trying to plug the product or the brand. I just really like the app. It's a really cool app. Um, for DIYers out there to use. So let me go over to my scale and show you how I calculated that out. So like I was saying earlier, I got my five gallon bucket right here. That's all flagship that's in that bucket. I actually just got a new scale. Finally, it goes above five pounds. It was a pain to weigh things out in the past. So that goes up to 50 pounds. So it should be a lot easier to weigh everything out. Um, and if you know, in my past, I've talked about, I like to weigh things out in my yard. So I know exactly how much I'm putting down in the certain sections of my yard. Um, that's just what I like to do. I like to weigh everything out. 
and then just put it in my spreader right here. This is just a regular Scott's uh, Edge Guard Mini. I don't use anything big. This works for me. It helps. It's very easy to spread out. Haven't any had any problems. <clears throat> And it has the edge guard, so which is really great so you're not getting any spillover into your driveway or your sidewalks or anything like that. So the app that I like to use is actually the Yard Mastery app. Um, it's a free app to download um, in the, uh, the store, uh, the app store obviously. Um, this is not a plug for their product. Uh, you don't have to buy any of their product. Um, it's a free app. I really like using it. They have a really a couple great tools in that app that you can use. Um, and one of the tools that I like using is their granular uh, calculator right here. I'm going to put it up here on, on the screen in a second. Um, but basically what you can do is you can figure out how many pounds of nitrogen you can put down um, in, uh, out of the fertilizers that you're using. So the one section of the app that's really cool is the granular calculator section. I'm going to put it up here on the screen for you guys to see. What's really cool is you can plug in different information and you can figure out how much to put down. Uh, per 1,000 feet of fertilizer. So for instance, as you can see here, I put in 1,000 at the top for every 1,000 square feet. Um, and then at the bottom there, I put 0 0.50 for the, or the, the next section down, 0 0.50 for half a pound of nitrogen. That's what I'm looking to put out per week. Um, and then the product analysis for flagship is a 2406, or you could put in whatever your product analysis is. Um, if you're doing a Lesco, you could put in their product analysis. I don't. I, th I think theirs are usually like a 30, zero, uh, four or something like that. But you can put in any uh, product analysis as you want. You just hit the calculate button, and as you can see here, I'm going to be throwing down two pounds per 1,000 square feet. So from here, I put this into an Excel spreadsheet because I have all the different sections of my yard uh, mapped out for the square footage. Um, and I just divided it out from there, the two pounds, what I need for each of those sections. And that's what I'll be throwing down. I'll be weighing everything out here in my bucket, in my scale, out of my big five gallon right here and just throwing it in my spreader and spreading it out. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be spoon feeding over the course of the next uh, so many weeks until I hit a Halloween or that first frost here in South Jersey and things start to really slow down in growth. So like I was saying, this isn't a plug for their product or their, it's just a plug for their app. It's a free app. I don't get any kickbacks for it. So obviously it's free. Um, so I just really like the app. It's cool. It's handy on your phone. Um, they have soil temperatures on there. Like I said, they have the liquid uh, fertilizer calculator as well. They have a lawn measuring tool as well. So you, if you want to measure out your areas of your yard, um, that's what I did to figure out the different areas of my yard. So I know exactly what I'm putting down for each section. They have that as well. Um, so like I said, it's not a plug for Yard Mastery. It's just a plug for the app. It's a free app. I'm not getting any kickbacks. I just think it's really cool to have it right here on your phone. So it's very easy to do. You just scoop everything out. You just throw it in the bucket right here. Measure out exactly what you need for the, your certain sections of your house. Uh, for the side, I know I need four pounds, uh, for four pounds of fertilizer for the side of my house. Then from there, I just throw it in my bucket, throw the edge guard on. Then I always do the perimeter first. That way I'm not getting anything into the sidewalk or the street or anything like that, the driveway, whatever. Um, and then from there, I flick off the uh, edge guard and then I'll do the rest of the area just to make sure I overlap any areas so everything spreads out evenly. Um, and then from there, you're done. Um, that's it for the spoon feeding. Um, it's pretty simple to do. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing personally at my house, just spoon feeding over the course of the next so many weeks. Um, I want to do it that way just so I'm not throwing down a ton of fertilizer at once and getting a flush of growth. Um, here I can control a little bit better the growth uh, as opposed to just a big flush. I can do a little bit at a time each week um, and then I'll just have to make sure I keep up with my mowings uh, because obviously nitrogen is going to push a lot of top growth. Um, NPK, I always say it's up, down, and all around. So obviously N is up. That's going to produce a lot of top growth. So I'm definitely going to have to keep up with my mowings, but that's what I do for the growing seasons. I usually always mow twice a week. So I'm running out of daylight here, so I just want to do a little quick recap of what I did today. I'm doing a spoon feeding to my lawn over the course of the remainder of the year. I'm doing a half a pound of nitrogen per week up until probably the week before Halloween. Um, that's just what I want to do. I want to try and push a lot of nitrogen in my lawn, get a lot of top growth, trying to thicken this lawn up going into the winter time. Um, that's what I did last year. I saw really great results from the spoon feeding I did. I did with, a, I think it was X-Green, their 818 fertilizer. 
I believe that company was Carbon Earth at the time. I saw really great results uh, with that fertilizer, so that's what I'm gonna be doing this year. Obviously, I don't have X Green that are not in business anymore. So I'm just trying to use up my flagship. That's what I have left over, as you guys saw, in the five gallon bucket. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I really don't wanna buy anything. I just wanna use up what I got. Um, and then next year, going into next year, I might try something a little bit different for granular, or I might even do maybe a liquid program. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to be doing some research over the winter time, reach out to some of, you know, of the other YouTube community uh, people out there, some of the other creators, and talk about what I could do in my lawn better to thicken this lawn up, and you know, obviously use less chemicals and weed out the, the uh, weeds uh, in my lawn naturally with just more of a thicker lawn. That's what I'm going for in my lawn. I'm trying to crowd out those weeds as best as I can without using any herbicides and just naturally with a lush green lawn. And like I talked about earlier, check out that Yard Mastery app. It's free. I don't make any money off of it. Anybody can download it. Um, I just think it's a really cool app. They have a lot of really cool features. Like I talked about earlier, the lawn measuring, the, um, the fertilizer calculator and the soil temperature. I think those are all really great free tools that you can check out. So again, check out that Yard Mastery app. It's really cool. Um, it's handy, it's right on your phone. So it's really easy to do all the calculations that you need and those other tools that I talked about as well. And again, like always guys, make sure you smash that like button if you found the content helpful or if you enjoyed today's content and you found a little something out of it to learn. I am trying to teach people if I can. Um, I'm not an expert. I've talked about it in the past. I'm just a DIYer, average homeowner. And again, smash that like button if you found today's content helpful and if you like today's content. If you're interested in seeing the day four germination results in my lawn right here behind me with the Mountain View seed, check out the video right here in the end screen. And the other video is all the steps I did for my fall over seed, so check out that video as well. And like always, if you're new, hit that subscribe button right there in the middle. And again, like always, I'll see you in the next one.